state your name for the folks at home. Oh, there's nobody there. <laughs> Wait, Craig, don't you normally, you know, pick someone out of the audience and then talk to them and you have a laugh and everything, and pretend to have a good time with them and everything, and uh, they, pre they pretend to like you and... That was my plan for the evening. I thought the big Friday night event. Let's get somebody out of the audience. We'll have a laugh. So I asked the lady in the front row, and she said, "No." <laughs> so I'll just have to pretend she's here, and so will you. I will interview her. We will make believe she was here. You know why we can do that? Because we're beautiful. No matter what they say. <laughs> so, state your name for the folks at home, would you, uh, strange lady? Yes, my name's Margaret. Margaret, you say? <laughs> yes, I'm Margaret, and I'm from Islington, North London. <laughs> That's very interesting, Margaret. What are you doing here in Los Angeles? I'm actually a spy. <laughs> A spy? Well, uh, are you spying us, on us for the British? <laughs> yes. But I thought the British were our allies. Yes, well, it doesn't pay to be too careful. <laughs> just, just in case. I see. Well, Margaret, are you going to do anything interesting while you're in Los Angeles? No. <laughs> No! No! I'm going to follow my favorite hobby. Whoa, what's that? Sitting down quietly. <laughs> Sitting down quietly? But Margaret, together we could make great music. You could, you and I could whirl around the dance floor. People would talk about it for years. No. <laughs> I find you unpleasant. <laughs> I'm only here because I didn't get it to the prices right. I much prefer Drew Carey, even though I liked him better when he was fat. Well, thanks, Margaret. Please return to your seat. No. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Ferguson, sponsored by Denny's. America's Diner is always open. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. comedian terrified you this evening. <laughs> you better, you better sound like you like him or I'm out of a job. <laughs> and he's right. <laughs> but before I come out, I hear him saying to the audience, give me thunder. <laughs> There's 110 people here who are disappointed because they didn't get into the prices right. Give anyone thunder? <laughs> or do they? <laughs> hey, when I was throwing candy into the audience, a, a, a piece of candy fell on the floor, which means legally it's mine. <laughs> 
I was going to put it in my pants, but I think it might melt. <laughs> Greg, are you saying that chocolate melts in your pants? Yes, because of my hot penis. <laughs> going to be a classy one tonight, everybody. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. of course. Oh, thank God it's Friday. I, I, it's been a great week for uh, the New York City cab drivers this week. The drivers finally got to see the taxi of the future, the new model cab. The reaction was quite mixed. Some of the, the drivers in New York are like, hey. <laughs> and some of them are like, oh, yes, I like it very much. <laughs> The New York taxis, the new ones, are actually pretty cool. They're big, they've got a lot of room in the trunk, and they can handle thousands of people riding them. They're like Kardashians. They're... <laughs> yeah, we should probably lay off the Kardashians, or they could go away. <laughs> Next week, of course, is the 100th anniversary of the sinking of the Titanic. It was a terrible tragedy, so what better way to mark the somber anniversary than with a big Hollywood 3D movie opening today? Yeah! That's right, Titanic, back in the theatres, this time in 3D, so it'll be like, oh, the ship's sinking! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, I'm king of the world! <laughs> it's pretty amazing, though, that they've got those computer programs that can transform older movies into 3D. They take something, you know, flat and two-dimensional and make it seem, seem real. They should do it with Mitt Romney. It's an amazing thing. <laughs> now, this is true. Wait. <laughs> this is true. There's a movie theater in South Korea is showing the new Titanic movie in something they call 4DX. But what they do is they turn it into a kind of theme park ride, like it's in 3D, and then they shake the seats and they turn on the fans, and they say that you'll be able to feel and smell the movie. I'm like, because when I watched that Titanic movie, I was always thinking, I wonder what that old lady smells like, you know? <laughs> you, know when, you know when they had that hundred-year-old lady in a submarine with no ventilation? I was like, ah, I wonder what that smells like. They got it right. Vitamins and wee wee. They, uh... <laughs> it's a joke. Relax. Relax, hundred year old angry people. <laughs> Is anyone angry at a hundred? I, I think by the time you get to a hundred, you're like, a... <laughs> I don't know. I'd like to think that if I reach a hundred, I'd still be, you know, a little pissed. <laughs> Anyway, I'm not going to see it in 4D. I'm going to see Titanic in 3D. That'll be, that'll be good enough for me. It'll be great. Everything will fly into your face. The ship, the iceberg, the boobies. <laughs> I don't remember much about the movie, only the boobies. <laughs> Who's that actress again? She's lovely, gorgeous, blonde, uh, hair, sexy lips. Did you have a picture of her? Yeah, there she is, yeah. <laughs> Uh, as, of course, Leonardo DiCaprio is in the movie. That was 15 years ago, and he's aged a little bit since then. He still looks great, though. Do we have a, a recent picture of Leo? There you are. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Kate Winslet, of course, is the actress. I was talking, uh, she's the one with the boobies in the movie. I don't know why the movie studio isn't advertising the fact you'll be able to see our, our boobies in 3D. They should put that on the poster. <laughs> They'd be like, remember our boobies? Well, they're in 3D. <laughs> I, I mean, they could do it subtly. They could just underline the first three letters in Titanic. <laughs> what? What? You know, when the Titanic movie came out in 1997, it made a ton of money. The official count was like 15 gazillion dollars. But let... <laughs> I don't know what it was. It's a lot of money, though. I, and let's not forget that the, the biggest competition, though, against the movie at that time was the Spice Girls movie. <laughs> which I saw about 400 times. They should have that in 3D. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> tell me what you want. I'll tell you what I want. I want those Union Jack boots. 
Remember that Baby Spice? She was lovely. She's also, that's uh, 15 years ago as well. Did you get a recent picture of Baby Spice? Yeah, there she is. <laughs> What was that guy? Oh, yeah, the Titanic. Uh, I was actually asked to, to, to be in Titanic. No, not the movie, the actual ship. <laughs> the story of Titanic is real. It's, it's quite sad, though. I mean, it's a terribly sad story. As the ship is sinking, the orchestra played so the, you know, it would calm the passengers. It makes me think we should have a, a band here so, you know, to calm people while this ship sinks. <laughs> it's like... May I say, it's been an honour playing with you. Yeah. <laughs> the whole idea of re-releasing the old movies does bother me a bit. Though, If they're going to re-release re an old movie, I, I should be able to get in with my, my old ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think Jay Leno did that uh, joke, didn't he? He did. I'm sure he did. He must have. Yeah. <laughs> You know who hates Titanic? Rick Santorum. Because, yeah, yeah, he does, because it has sailors going down. <laughs> you like that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. It was a, that was a good one, Jay. Are you doing Kevin? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Right, you do Kevin, yeah. but wait, Kevin's not on the show anymore. <laughs> For the purposes of this joke, it don't matter. All right, okay, yeah, you, you do Kevin and I'll do Jay. Hey, hey, Kevin, uh, how, how, what have you been up to? Oh, not too much. How you doing, man? Well, I've, I've been, I, oh, that's cold. Say that. Yeah, that's cold, man, that's cold. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> See, if you would do that, you'd be more like a better sidekick. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you, sir? I take umbrage at your thoughts. <laughs> umbrage, you say? Yes, you heard me, umbrage. Umbrage is actually one of the more picturesque villages in Cheshire. <laughs> I, believe, I believe you studied at Umbridge. I did. I went to Umbridge for many years. I studied <laughs> monkeys. <laughs> Oh, you, you studied simians, you see? Yes, as I did. I studied monkeys and the lovely, the hairy little rascals running around with bananas and such. I particularly enjoy the babbins. <laughs> and also monkeys. <laughs> 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 Okay, up. tonight's presentation of The Late Late Show is brought to you in 3D. Now you can experience shame and total disappointment in three dimensions. <laughs> Tonight we're celebrating, uh, <laughs> right, Jeff? That's right. All right, <laughs> 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 good one, Jay. <laughs> thing is that we used to try and deconstruct the late night genre, you and I, Jeff, and now look at us just doing exactly what they do. You've become the very thing that we detested. That's right. We have become the monster which we despised. And loving every minute of it. Jeffrey Pearson. It's street mail time. Time to take serious advice from a man who melts many chocolates in his pants. From Sam in San Antonio, Texas. You ever been down Ooh, there, yeah, uh, San Antonio, yeah, Texas? There. You ever been down there, a little place yeah, there, maybe like go swimming and take my clothes off? And... <laughs> uh, she says, "Dear Craig and Jeff, uh, I lost a. Well, I say she, Sam, Sam. I think of as a she, but it could be a he. Whatever, <laughs> whatever helps you sleep." 
Uh, dear Greg and Jeff, I lost a bet to my roommate and had to shave my head. Have you ever had to do anything embarrassing after losing a bet? <laughs> This is from Corey in Saugus in uh, Ma, Massachusetts. Ma, Massachusetts. Saugus, eh? Have you ever been to Saugus? Oh, love it there. You enjoy Saugus, don't you? Love Saugus. <laughs> dear, <laughs> dear Craig and Jeff, my grandma's 90th birthday is coming up and we want to surprise her. Any suggestions? <laughs> yeah, don't. <laughs> don't. Don't surprise her. How about, hi, Grandma, happy birthday. How about that? How about, surprise! <laughs> How would you surprise a 90-year-old 90, a 90 lady there, Jeff? I, I think this might be enough. <sighs> yeah, yeah, what you want to do is get an animated skeleton corpse to go, ah! <laughs> She'll love that. <laughs> <laughs> This is from Thomas in Chandler, Arizona. You ever been to Chandler, oh, Arizona? God, place there, like no, to go no, uh, swimming? I don't, I don't even know about that. <laughs> Hi, Craig and Jeff. Instead of having to worry about cutting my lawn all the time, my friend suggested getting artificial grass. Do you think it's as good as the real thing? Oh. What's that coming to go? <laughs> what the hell? What is that? What's wrong with these people? Well, I mean, what the hell? Is artificial grass as good as real grass? How the hell do I know? <laughs> What am I, the grass queen all of a sudden? Oh, who will we ask about grass? Oh, what about the foreigner on late night television? <laughs> he should know about grass. He comes from a country where they have grass. <laughs> and anyway, what do you care about grass? You're in Arizona. You don't have grass. You have sand. <laughs> sand, cactuses, and a very strict immigration policy. <laughs> wait, wait. Please. Perhaps I've gone too far. I actually like it in Arizona. That's code. <laughs> Jeff, do you like it in Arizona? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is from Leslie in uh, Providence, Rhode Island. I don't know if you can tell, but Leslie's a tit there. You see that? Mm. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Craig and Jeff. Why do I always have an impulse to pull the fire alarm when I see one? Because you're insane. <laughs> uh, oh, right, we're out of time. We've got to quickly get through the last two. Are you ready? Oh, it's right. from uh, Seth in Erie, Pennsylvania. I don't know if you can tell, but Seth's a cockatoo. Uh... <laughs> Hi, Craig and Jeff. I work at a restaurant. Ooh, la -di da I work at a restaurant. Ooh, I've got a better job than you. <laughs> Dear uh, Craig and Jeff, I work at a restaurant where we wear stupid hats and bow ties. Have you ever have a, had a job you hated? <laughs> <laughs> no, never. Actually, I do. I love this job. This is a great job. I love it. Nothing, nothing could be... <laughs> And finally, this is from Cheryl in Des Moines, Iowa. You ever had it in Des Moines, oh, Iowa? Yeah, I love Des Moines, Iowa. Oh, yeah? Great, great uh, place. Uh, Cheryl says, hi, Craig and Jeff. I think my personal trainer... Oh, my personal trainer. Ooh, la di da <laughs> Ooh, I have a personal trainer. Ooh, feel the burn. <laughs> I think my personal trainer has been getting a little more touchy-feely lately. How do I let him know I'm interested without risking embarrassment? <laughs> Uh, well, when he touches you when you're exercising, say, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, when he's saying, uh, do a little more calf muscle there, you can go, that's great. <laughs> and then, you know, if you're, like when you're stretching afterwards, you can go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> kind of turned myself on a little bit there, right? That was creepy and weird, wasn't it? It's so sore, but it feels so good. <laughs> I like it in Arizona. That's it. Spank me, grass queen. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody.
guest tonight is on the Showtime series The Big C. Uh, the season premiere is on Sunday. Take a look at this. <laughs> Knock it off. You clap like that. I don't know where I am anymore. <laughs> I mean, they clap. They, I mean, when they clap, I don't know what they even mean. Do you know what they mean? It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's... it's... <laughs> Please welcome. <laughs> Please, <laughs> knock it off. You're, you're putting me off. Who are you people? Please welcome the adorable Laura Linney, everybody. Laura Linney. See you. you look very nice. Thank you. I dressed up for you. Oh, uh, thank I you did. for doing you, and you've done it. That's color blocking. You. Color blocking. Yes. I've heard you were a fan of color blocking. Well, I don't know if I'm a fan of your color blocking. Well, Not you all so color blocking. Thank you. But thank I like you. yours. I like. Uh, it's something that I see all a lot of the ladies. There's a lot out. of it going all around. Yeah, you know, it's it's like it's one color and then another, another color one. right right next, next to, to each other. I know. It's, I know. it's controversial. It's a little dangerous. A little risque. Yeah. Well, hey, I'll talk to you about your show in a minute, which is yes. great, but. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, introducing Downton Abbey, which Fun. is... Jeff and I love Downton Abbey. Jeff, you yeah. like it. We like to talk like it's Downton Abbey all the time. <laughs> you I, do? Yeah, yeah. I, you what do? I say, what I, do you say? Well, what I say is, as I, I say, you know, life's rummy sometimes, Jeff. Oh, yeah. And he says... I forgot. Ah. <laughs> Then he says something else. I rather rusty. enjoy Downton Abbey. A little rusty, Jeff. He is a little rusty. A little rusty. I take that personally. Oh, darling, it's all right. Well, he's from yeah. Umbridge, don't you know? Yeah. Uh, are you a fan of Downton Abbey, or are you just doing it for money? <laughs> yeah, just whoring myself yeah. out. Yeah, to PBS. Yeah, no. That must be like 20 bucks and that. No, I... I... <laughs> Yeah, I, I love it. I have a really good time doing it. And it, it's I've been doing it for a while. I've yeah, been the host for, for Masterpiece for a while. And, and then Downton has sort of taken on this huge life yeah. of its own. So it's... It's, uh, it's, it's a real thrill, actually, because I grew up watching all that stuff. Yeah, no, you know? I did, too. But yeah. used to be upstairs, downstairs That's right. as well. Yeah. That's right. When the people upstairs would talk like this, and the people downstairs would talk like that. Hey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the class system, you know. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. We don't really have that here in America. We no. Just, we have the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we do. Uh, <laughs> So, what happens this year? Clearly, uh, you, the cancer's gone into remission then. Well, I wouldn't quite say remission. Right. But there's a bit of a reprieve. She gets some very good news. Well, clearly. She gets, yeah, she gets some and good from news. Alan from Alan From the divine Alan Alda. He's lovely. You know he what? is. He's one of the nicest people on the planet. He's kind of he like, he's, yes, he is. He's adorable. Any, any fantasy that any of you might have about how nice that man is, you're absolutely right. Yeah. He is. And he, he is smells just... uh, sort of like vanilla. So it's a vanilla smell. <laughs> Yeah, he does. He smells he like he does. has a kind of vanilla smell. Like sweetness. Just there's sweetness. a sweetness to him. He yeah, it, just, like... it comes out of his pores. Yeah, right, that's right. I think he eats a lot of ice cream. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. No, he's very, very nice. And he does very good doctor. He's used to playing doctors. He's good at the doctor yeah. thing. He, got he can that play down. a doctor in wartime. In wartime and peace. And peace. That's, yeah. right. that's right. Did yeah. you watch MASH when you were a kid? Of course I did. Yeah, me too. Oh, of course I did. You hear that theme song and, you know, you just go run. Yeah. What, run where? To the TV. Oh, I see. Are you, are you frightened by the theme tune to Mass? <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> no. So, how are you yourself? Are you well? I'm very well. Really? Yeah, life's yeah. not so bad. <laughs> not bad. Well, I, I suppose not, now that you say it in that rather adorable way. Yeah. <laughs> are you an optimistic person, do you think? It depends on the day. Most right. of the time. I think most of the time I am. Right. You know. That's not going to do well in show business, is well, it? Well, you know, it, actually, it, it helps. And then it's just absurd. You know, you can be in the worst situation in the world and try and find the one thing that's good, and it's so ridiculous that you just laugh. Well, I think that's a you know good I mean? thing to be. That's a bit like your character in the, in the show, though, isn't well, it? Well, it's a little bit like what, what comedy sort of does, doesn't it? It sort of tries to make... I don't know anything <laughs> about comedy. <laughs> Just trying to earn a buck and stay out of jail. That's all. Or... Well, good. Yeah, no. Have you ever been to jail? No, I never have. Not yet. Do you do, you do anything oh, you that may get you know. put in jail? Are you, do you enjoy uh, hard uh, class A drugs or anything like that? No. Too, 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 I can't. I'm too scared of that. Well, what about softer drugs? 
Mm, not, not yet. What about uh, always skateboarding time. in prohibited areas? <laughs> you, you, know, you ever do that? Leaping over the occasional you, fence. Yeah, are you, are you, you're kind of a good girl then? Were you a good girl growing up? You're an yeah. Really? I, uh, a little, yeah. Sort of like, sort of, a, um, like a naughty librarian? Sort of? No. Just, not the just, naughty just the librarian. Yeah, yeah. No. Not, not naughty. No, nah. Really? Nah, no. I just, just sort of a workaholic. Really? Yeah, all the time. Well, this is an intervention. From the, thank you. <laughs> thank you. We've all been talking. We'd like you to. <laughs> thank you. Really? Do you think you are a workaholic? Do you think you get nervous if you don't work? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I do. You know, I, you know. Yes. What's your background? Scottish Protestant? Close. Close. Well, American, very far back American, but then uh, Welsh. Oh. I believe. Yeah, no. The, now, the Welsh are more a, a holic in different areas, yes. I've noticed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Mm-hmm. But no, I, I, do, I do work a little, a little too hard, and I'm trying to learn how to... Well, let's relax to. right here, right now. All right. <laughs> How's it going? I'm good. I'm, good. I'm okay. fine. Yeah, yeah. How are you doing? I'm feeling okay. Yeah. Just let it, let it happen. Let it happen. Let it happen. <laughs> Am I doing all right? You look a little nervous. Am I okay? A little nervous. Yeah. You'd be all right. You'd be all right? Yeah. You want, uh, you want something to hold? <laughs> yeah. Give me the snake. No, no, no. You got, you know, what about, you can have the glittery ball or the kangaroo testicles. <laughs> I gotta have the testicles. Kangaroo testicles? All right. Hold on to the kangaroo testicles. We'll take a commitment. I like you know what you're doing. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> I, uh... Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Laurel and I, I'm just taking my testicles back. All right. I'll miss them. Yeah. Usually when I say that to a woman, I have to give her half of my stuff. <laughs> um, now, uh, we're out of time. We're not really, but I like to start with we're out of time because okay. it usually takes us a long time to get, you know, to wrap it All up. Right. So okay. if I say we're out of time, you don't understand now. Yes. This is the third act ticking clock. Okay. All right. Got it. So we're, we're, we're kind of out of time. So yeah. in order to wrap this up, mm -hmm. what would you like? Would you like the mouth organ? The awkward pause, or would you like to go for the big cash prize? My mother said I have to go for the big cash prize. W your mother is right. What time is it, Shadow Steven? Time for the big cash prize. There you are. Nice. Uh -huh. 50. Five zero American dollars in quarters in a bag with a dollar sign on it, just like the burglars you use, yes. right? You can win it in one of two okay. ways. You can either uh, answer my question. Yes. Or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head, but I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. You say what you think is in it. If you're right, you get the $50. If you're wrong, something awful will happen to you. <laughs> I'll go for the question. That might be the awful thing that That's happens. Right. Uh, all right. Um, Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Mm -hmm. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's uh, just to get us in the mood mm -hmm. for sort of game And I'm, game I'm there. It was successful. Have you ever been to Reykjavik? No. I'd like to go to Iceland, yeah. you know. No. Wouldn't you? I hear it's green and Greenland is icy. Yeah, is that that's true? what they say. And also, Iceland, uh, they, they got uh, Sigurd Ross and Björk there. Well, I mean, I mean, come on. Yeah, that's, how, that's how great cool music is, right How there. cool I, is that? I, I think, though, that they'd probably be too cool for me to talk to these people. I, I sort of have this ridiculous image of them like running or scurrying around. Like some, you wouldn't I be think, able to, I like, think you know. you're thinking of hamsters. <laughs> <laughs> That's a completely you know, different thing. Iceland is a country with people. Hamsters people. are, you, you know, it's a completely different thing. I'm sure they have hamsters in Iceland. It's a modern country with all the <laughs> pet conveniences you could wish. <laughs> Made myself laugh there. All right. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, let's see. True or false? In medieval times, the bathroom facilities in big castles used fancy fabrics as toilet paper. True or false? I say true. That's close. It's false. Is the correct answer they used hay? Laurel, hey, you won 50 American dollars. We'll be right back.
My next guest is uh, deserving of some respect. He is a myth buster. He also uh, created Jeff Peterson. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The Mythbuster thing is what you respect him for. This. <laughs> Mythbusters airs on Sunday nights on the Great Discovery Network. Take a look at this. <laughs> My friend Grant Imahara, everybody. Grant Imahara. Thank you. Good to see you, my friend. You look great. You look very secret agent-y. Why do you look so secret agent-y to me? You're wearing a lot of black, is that it? Well, I do. Well, you know, I wore a lot of black on the show, and I, I'm comfortable wearing black for some Really? Are you mysterious? I might be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, uh, Jeff was two years. Do you believe it's two years since you made Jeff Peterson? I can't believe it. Happy birthday, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Belated birthday. Yeah, the Thanks, for Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Well, you know, it's, it's the terrible twos. Terrible now. twos, yeah, yeah. He's behaving you... very badly. We had a party for him yesterday, and by party, I mean we got him a hat. <laughs> <laughs> a picture of him with his hat on? There you are. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's that was very it. festive. That, yeah, well, it, it, you know, you don't want to make it too. You build his hopes up, you know, and... Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How are things on Mythbusters, then? They moved you to Sunday? What the hell? Yes. Uh, well, you know, it's uh, changing, changing things up. So... Wednesdays, I know, Wednesdays at 9 is where we were, and yeah. now they're thinking, well, Sundays is our new... Sundays is better for science? We're going to, yeah, it's going to be science Science Sunday. Sundays as opposed to science Wednesday, which doesn't have the same... It has a ring to it, science yeah, yeah. Sunday. This yeah. good. What are you doing this year on the Mythbusters then? Oh, we got some good stuff. Um, we've got a prank, and I don't know if... Prank? We... I don't approve. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I think uh, you might have done this back in the day. Back in the day, you mean when I was a hopeless alcoholic? When you were, well, no, you know, when you were younger. R right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was common among rock stars, apparently, where they would take all the furniture in their hotel room mm. and glue it to the ceiling. Glue it to the ceiling? Su yeah. Using super adhesive, they would glue everything in the room to the ceiling. Grant, that's an adorable conceit that you think rock stars would be organized enough to glue things. <laughs> If I was in the company of people back in the day that had glue, we'd be sniffing it. <laughs> well, maybe you get your, you know, roadies or someone to Well, yeah. get in here and glue stuff to the ceiling. <laughs> It'll be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you glued stuff to the ceiling. What myth is that? That it would, uh, it would not work? That it would not work. Right. And does it work? Oh, ah, I whoa, see. Whoa, oh, you whoa, can't whoa. tell me. I can't oh, tell you. Oh, no, oh, that's it, amazing. But yeah. I, it, it, well, it certainly amazed me. Right. Well, well, it would amaze me. Is that on Sunday, then, that's going to happen? That's going to happen in a couple weeks. All right. This Sunday is actually the one with the two cars that are joined together. I like together. when you do car mess. I like when you do car mess, and I like when you do gun mess. A lot of guns and explosions. That's my thing. That's what It's like an action movie all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. science. Do you still work in, in movie work? Do you still do special effects and stuff, or are you just myth-busting all the time? It's it's busting all the time. Really? It's a full-time gig, yeah. yeah. Why are you clapping at that? What's that? <laughs> we like having a full-time science Yeah, yeah, gig. he's got a full-time full job. Well yeah. done. Yeah. Actually, you know what Actually, I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, you know, you're right. Actually, in this economy, well done. <laughs> and it happens to be, you know, blowing things up. Cars and uh, no, that's it's guys. a great job. Everybody says that to you all the time, though, isn't it? They say yeah. you're the best job, it, but it's a pretty good job. It is. It's yeah, great. Yeah. Job. Yeah. 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 Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we can maybe blow some more stuff up here, can we? No, no, we couldn't. No. Nah. No. You know, once I had a sparkler here. And we had to have a safety officer stand next to me. <laughs> With a fire extinguisher? Yeah. It was like, I wanted to have a sparkler for some bit I was doing, and they went, well, the safety officer has to be right there. And I said, it's like I'm a television program. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, but he has to be right there in case it goes off. I'm like, oh, all right then. You, yeah. <laughs> You never know. It could it could go horribly. Do you get into a lot of trouble? Whoa, you had that terrible accident when the cannon went off. And yeah. And then there's people's houses and stuff. Man. Well, you know. Oh, careful with cannons. Well, I think for us, you know, the main thing is that nobody was hurt. Nobody was hurt. That's good which news. Is, yeah, absolutely. Know, the number one. I bet you they're all over you now with the safety, right? Are they like. We, yeah, we have a lot of enhanced safety procedures now. So. Yeah, I'll bet you do, man. Yeah. Right. Yeah, well, yeah, a guy standing next to us, you know, in case there's yeah, sparkler. In case your sparkler goes. Off. That's right. Tell me, Grant, does your sparkler ever go off when you don't plan on it going off? 
<laughs> you ever get so excited your sparkler just like goes off? Yeah. Well, usually I have someone standing next, next to me. Next to me. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, um, all right. We're out of time. What do you want to do here? You want to do mouth organ, awkward pause? You want to go for the big cash prize? What do you think? Oh, big cash prize. Oh, I'm going okay. to try that one. What? Yeah. I was just going to do the thing where I start off the big cash prize. Then you said something. I thought, oh, there's another thing. Well, I've never done the big cash prize. I well, did the mouth you're... organ and the awkward pause, but... Well, I, I think you've added an extra awkward pause right now without even... <laughs> I didn't even ask you for this one, and you just you threw it in, which I appreciate. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah right. What time is it, Shadow Steven? It's time once again for the big yeah. prize. Here's how it works. Right. 50 American dollars in quarters if you can answer a question or guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. If you guess correctly, you will get the $50. If you guess wrong, we shoot you out of a cannon. <laughs> Wow. Can I go for the mouth organ? <laughs> okay, let's do it. What, you want to answer the question? I'll answer the question. All right, then. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Why are you doing that thing with your hands? You're doing that thing with your hands. What thing? You're trying to look like a villain. <laughs> Just because I make a robot doesn't make me a villain. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Yes. Yeah, that, that's just to get us going. Okay. All right. Have you ever, ever, <laughs> ever been to Iceland, though? No, I've never been. No, I, not have I. I was just thinking I'd like to go there. Yeah, it's cold, is it not? Can be, I guess. In the, in the summertime, not so much, I don't think. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, within 50... How many licks do scientists say it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? <laughs> I don't know which branch of science this is. <laughs> I guess, the, what is the study of licking called? Do you know what that's called? Porn, <laughs> I think. Isn't it called? <laughs> um, um. Uh, so within 50, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Um, you know, I'm, I'm not familiar with the study, but I do know I have good information that says it's three. That's very close. <laughs> the wise old owl says it's three. Three licks to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. It's, it's, it might be a little more. Oh, um, three hundred... Is close enough! It's 250! Yes! Yeah, one, one, <laughs> We had to show the photograph of the cat again so that people with cats don't get upset that a cat was eaten by a shark. They're both drawing. Groggy. Relax. <laughs>